Okay, welcome back again. Last time we were on the channel, we uh, we did a cooler intake on the scat pack. So this time we're gonna do the catch can on the scat pack because uh, you know sometimes it's helpful and it helps a prolonged engine life to just get some of that extra oil out of there. So we're gonna do that and uh, tag along. Uh, PR product. We got a sticker. First impression, pretty good quality. Kind of know what we're doing. Lucas knows more than I do. Yeah. Um, but it's a UPR catch can from the United States of America. <laughs> so it looks like it's a really nice catch can. And uh, it's kind of something you do for your engine bay to look nicer and it'll also help your engine too. So it's like a win-win if you have the money. And okay. here's, here's this segment yeah. with Lucas explaining Not what a catch can does. Yeah, what a catch can does is uh, when your pistons are going up and down, some uh, air gets okay so when the air goes past the cylinder it the oil under that like in the oil pan it mixes with the air and those oil particles like go into the crankcase and usually what engines do they put that pressure like the air and oil pressure uh, in the crankcase they just reroute it right back into the intake but with what a catch can does it takes the pressure that is uh, usually going right back into the intake, runs it through, runs it through this contraption, so it goes in one side. The air travels through this can, and with the oil that's in the air, it drops into this can, and so it's clean air coming back out the other side, right into the intake. So you're not getting that oil uh, from your crankcase and back into your heads intake and all that. So it goes all into this can, and you have clean air going right back into your. Hell yeah. Okay, so the first thing you're going to... What? <laughs> okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, take out this line. You're going to leave this uh, 90 degree fit fitting here. Leave that. So we'll take this line out first and then go from there. And then next you're going to want to shove these two things. I don't really know Not how to explain camera. them. There you go. There. Yep, yep. yep they're uh, weird looking. Oh. <laughs> so bad. And then you're gonna want to shove it one in this 90 degree fitting, like that, and the other one, like that. <laughs> I'm dead. Okay, so Lucas was looking at videos and stuff like that. And we're trying to get more information. It's really hard. So this is an important step that we didn't find much information on. Yeah. So this one uh, was kind of weird to find the mounting hole. It, the mounting hole is surprisingly this one that is on the cylinder head. It's actually threaded, but what, what Dodge does is they have this kind of like, I don't know, clip thing that you shove in there, but you take that out and then this mounts up to that hole right there and that's where it mounts. So with this you shove right there. So you would put this bolt with one spacer on the side, then you shove the other spacer on the other side so it kind of looks like that, and then mount it into that hole, I mean you would screw it in so you kind of see how it looks like that. With You would screw that bolt in with a 13 millimeter socket and it should mount just like that. So we're going to do that and then we'll get back to you. Completed product, it was actually a pretty easy install to help prolong your engine life so I would highly recommend doing it it is definitely worth the money in the long run and also just it adds a cool factor to engine bay too especially if you get the color that is matching your car you know it's a good look hey thanks for bearing with us for that oil catch can install um, we have a lot more videos coming along, so please subscribe if you want to. Uh, like the video, it really helps us out a lot. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next one with something new. I'm not really sure, actually. I, I suck at this shit. God damn it. But, uh, hit that yeet. Couple ooga doogas later.